Everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with Mattel's WWE Nikki and Brie Bella, the Bella Twins Battle Pack 2 Pack. First time we've ever had two Divas in a 2 Pack. And I guess if you're going to throw in two Divas into a 2 Pack, where better to begin than identical twins Nikki and Brie Bella? I'm sure Nikki and Brie Bella have their admirers and have their detractors. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle between admiration and detraction, if that's even a word. And when it comes to the Bellas, it's definitely a case of quantity over quality. I think individually, there's no way the WWE would have hired Either of these women as single talents, it's only really by virtue of them being identical twins that they have any um, value or selling point, really. But over time, I have become more a fan of the Bellas as heels than baby faces. I think kind of being bitchy bully girls suits them much better. And, you know, the wrestling has improved somewhat. They have gone from not being able to wrestle from shit, not being able to tell an arm lock from an elbow drop. I mean, they're never going to be Ricky Steamboat and Randy Savage, let's face it. But um, you got to respect them for getting in the ring and giving it a try. And I mean, they still have a very limited skill set, but they have improved nonetheless. And for that, I commend them. I mean, they're really not rough and tumble women. They, you know basically probably swimsuit models who, you know, WWE is just a opportunity for them to flash their faces and other assets. So let's just take a closer look at the Bellas in the package there. One thing I do like is the costumes of the figures matches the um, packaging artwork, so that's always a plus. If I was keeping these mint, it certainly makes for more attractive look in the packaging. Going in even closer, I have debated on Facebook. They definitely have different hair, um, but I'm not sure if they are different head sculpts. I guess once we pop these out of packaging, we will be able to tell. Of course, we get the duo of stickers first time in the line plus divas championship included and there is nikki or brie holding it aloft let's just flip the packaging over got nikki there pointing at us saying smell my sister's armpit and then brie over here with her arm aloft saying yeah smell my armpit and then down here we got the two other two packs in the line The Rock versus John Cena. Includes two microphones, don't you know? Quite fitting for the uh, verbal back and forth these two have been having on Raw of late. I'm just kind of wondering why the two of them just don't get a room. And then we've got Sin Cara and Daniel Bryan. Is this Sin Cara's? Yeah, it is. First time in the line for Sin Cara there. Um, and they come with a folding chair, which is probably for Sin Cara to sit down on now that his leg is as injured as fuck. Um, I ordered this pack on Amazon. I paid an inflated £26 for it. Um, which I kicked myself later because I saw them in Forbidden Planet for £22.99. And I have to say, I thought Nikki and Brie would be the rarer two-pack. But at Forbidden Planet, on the shelf, they had two packs of Nikki and Brie Bella. One pack of Rock and John Cena left. No Sin Cara and Daniel Bryan. So whether that's a trend, we'll see when these two packs hit retail we will see it. Toys R Us and the usual toy suspect stores. Um, kind of until now, we've all been working on the premise that this Nikki and Brie Bella two-pack is going to be super rare. Anyway, I'm going to open up these bad bitches and give you my first impressions of them. Here are Nikki and Brie Bella out of package. 
and they are harder to tell apart than Jedward. But fortunately, Mattel has given us their initials on their butt cheeks so we can identify them. We've got the double B, BB for Brie Bella, and NB here for Nikki Bella. Not sure why they decided to name one of them after Cheese. I guess that's something we would have to ask um, Mama and Papa Bella. So let's go in for a closer look at the head sculpts. Now to me they do look like different head sculpts. It may just be the way this head came out of the mould but her nose is definitely more crooked than this one. Um, and But it's hard to tell if they are different sculpts or maybe if there's just a bit more variation on the paint application with the eyes, lips and eyebrows. But we can definitely say that they do have individual hair pieces. So it's good for Mattel. I mean, if Hasbro were making these, they would rob us blind and just give us exactly the same figure for each Bella. And I think the likeness is fairly decent. What do you guys think? I mean, if you doubt the likeness in the face, you definitely can't question the likeness of the um, kind of silly stocking leggings that the um, Bellas wear. Those have definitely been captured well. Beyond the likeness, I am just going to quickly go over the articulation and my victim for that will be Brie Bella. So there is some articulation on the head. Her hair is rubberized, it's a kind of softer rubber, so it does allow for some movement of her head. Three hundred and sixty degrees there at the shoulder and up and down, swivel on the upper arm, single joint elbow, she does rotate three hundred and sixty degrees at the wrist, she's got waist swivel some movement, kind of diaphragm joint there, has 360 degrees at the hip and then a swivel where her kind of little wrestling shorts stop, single jointed knee and then there is some movement in her ankle there, kind of front and side to side as much as her weird flared stocking things allow. So beyond Nikki and Brie themselves, as much trumpeted on the packaging, we do also get the Divas Championship, which um, is very pink and really quite flat. If you've seen my recent Andre the Giant review, the cha championship belt that he came with came with a lovely kind of metallic chrome finish to it. This Divas Championship lacks any of that. It's, you know, just flat plastic. But the um, detail on the belt itself, it is very detailed. Unfortunately, without any paint effect on the belt, it kind of really flattens the detail that is there. But I am going to try and salvage this belt with some of my customising painting skills. Of course it comes with the fastener at either end so it can fasten in back around the waist of the bellows. I forget which one of them was Diva's champion. Was it um, Nikki or Brie? If you know, let me know in the comments below. But although only one of them held the championship, it was very much a uh, team effort on both their parts, with many of their victories coming by virtue of twin magic. Anyway, that's Nikki and Brie Bella. Please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.